I'm Matthew Malcolm with Vegetables West Magazine reporting to you from the Capca Spring Summit in Temecula where growers, PCAs and CCAs gather to gain continuing education credits and learn better how to manage their pests and diseases in the field. One of the key issues for southern desert growers this year was downy mildew which growers here aren't used to as much rain and humidity at night as we got this year. And here's plant pathologist Dr. Alexander Putnam to address the issue. This past winter has been a big problem for downy mildew in various vegetables in Southern California. Uh, the weather conditions were particularly um, conducive for this disease. And so uh, downy mildew is really interesting as a pathologist, pathology perspective, because it has these really particular conditions for certain parts of the disease cycle. So when uh, these particular important parts are a sporulation and infection, and they each have particular conditions that they are required for. So for sporulation, uh, you want to have high relative humidity during the, the nighttime hours, and uh, no or very little rain during the night, and uh, cool temperatures the previous day. So if temperatures start getting about 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and that reduces the sporulation. And for infection, once those spores are released, you need to have leaf wetness beginning at early morning hours or about sunrise. And if it's uh, particularly warm, say it gets about 70 degrees Fahrenheit, then that length of leaf wetness needs to be longer. So these conditions were really common this past winter in Southern California and caused a lot of problems on various uh, vegetables for downy mildew. But the chief among those are onion, a lettuce, and spinach with have very low thresholds for damage, as well as uh, some brassicas. So almost everyone in my presentation today was you know, groaning and mentioning that you know, they had a serious problem down in this past winter. And so uh, what you want to do, uh, you, you want to pay attention to these particular conditions, and so try to time fungicide applications for these conditions, and really scout to get a handle on you know, when, when there's infection, when you have symptoms, and try to uh, predict when infection sporulation will occur so you can time the fungicide treatments. And of course, when we're talking about fungicides, we always want to rotate our chemistries and mode of action classes to reduce the risk that the pathogen will develop resistance to this happens. Some other things to do from a cultural management perspective are try to predict, uh, to get the cultivars with resistance to downy mildew. Uh, this is a problem because there are sometimes the problems are various different sources, but you want to get uh, cultivars with resistance to downy mildew, as well as try to avoid situations of high leaf wetness or relative humidity. You know, if you have a certain location that's prone to high humidity, try not to plant there. Um, and also avoid sprinkling irrigation as much as possible. Thank you, Alexander. Stay current on what's going on in your industry by reading Vegetables West magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.